this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Good morning and welcome to All Saints by the Seas Digital Children's Chapel. I'm Reverend Amy and while I miss being able to be with you all in person, I'm so glad that we can be together in this digital format. If you are able, I ask you to find a candle in your house and have a grown-up who's with you help you light the candle as we get started with Children's Chapel. Each week we light the candle as a reminder that God's light is shining in our world, in the dark places, in those places where we're afraid, in those places where we're sad, in those places where there's joy and happiness and fun and love. God's light is shining everywhere. And this light is a symbol of God's light. So let's go ahead and light our candle with the grown-up's help. Now it's time to say our prayers, so why don't you center your hands in front of your heart to help us center ourselves for our prayer. And we'll take in three deep breaths in through our nose and out through our mouth. I like to close my eyes when I do it, so if you'd like to do that, you can as well. Let's take a deep breath in through our nose and out through our mouth. One. Two, three, and now repeat after me. God be in my head and in my thinking. God be in my eyes and in my seeing. God be in my ears and in my hearing. God be in my mouth and in my speaking. God be in my heart and in my loving. Amen. And now we're going to hear the story for today. Today's story is called Jonah and the Big Fish. Jonah was not happy. Jonah said, I don't want to do what God says. I will run away. Step, step, step. Jonah hurried down the road. 
Jonah got on a boat. Away went the boat on the blue water. God saw Jonah go. God knew what Jonah needed. So God sent a big wind to help him. God's wind blew on the water. God's wind blew on the boat. The water went splash. Everybody got wet. The men worked hard to make the boat go, but it wouldn't. The men were afraid. They said, somebody has done something wrong. That is why this big wind is trying to upset our boat. Who is it? Then Jonah said, I did it. I was trying to run away from God. Just throw me into the water, then the wind will stop. The men worked hard to make the the boat go, but it wouldn't. So they did what Jonah said. They picked him up. They threw him into the water. Splash. And then the wind did stop going. The water did stop going splash. The big storm went away, all of it. Now God knew what Jonah needed. God sent him a big fish to help him. The big fish opened his mouth wide. It gobbled Jonah in one bite. Oh my. Did that help Jonah? Yes, it did. The next thing Jonah knew, there he was, safe inside the big fish. It was dark. It was wet. Jonah didn't like it in there, but Jonah was safe. Down, down, down went the fish. Down, down, down went Jonah. Then Jonah talked to God. Help me, Lord, and I will do what you told me to do. Now God knew what Jonah needed. God told the fish, take Jonah back to the land. The fish did what God said. After a while, it opened its mouth wide. And the next thing Jonah knew, there he sat on the nice dry sand. Jonah stood up, he looked around, He saw the big blue sky. He saw the sunshine. He saw the trees. He thanked God. And then Jonah went step, 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 step up the road to do what God told him to do. I wonder what your favorite part of the story about Jonah and the big fish was. Why don't you tell the person that you're with?
I like so many things about the story, but I think that the thing that I like today is that no matter how many times Jonah doesn't do what he's supposed to do, God still loves Jonah, God still helps Jonah, and God still shows up for Jonah. And God does that for you and me too, even when we don't know do what we're supposed to do. God is always there loving us and helping us make the right choice, keeping us safe. So let's sing a song of thanks to God. The story tells us about how good God is. Let's sing about that together. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good, he's so good to me. God is so good, God is so good, God is so good, he's so good to me. God is so was a wonderful story. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I'm Chaplain Allison and it's and I'm really glad that you're worshiping with us today. I'm here in my backyard with my chickens and my dog Waffles. So we're gonna get ready to have our closing prayer. So let's put our hands in prayer position. and have three deep breaths in and out to help us get settled in prayer position. That's one, so let's go another deep breath in and out. Help me, Lord, to love you more than I've ever loved before. In my work and in my play, God be with me through the day. Amen. And now it's time to change the light. Remember, we light the candle to represent God's light here with us. And when we blow the candle out, it doesn't mean that God's light and God's love go away. It means that it goes everywhere and it's inside of us also. So let's watch the light as it goes. goes. It's moving everywhere. So, thank you for worshiping all of us here today. And now let's sing a song. The candle reminds us that God's light is always within us and we can let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, nope, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, nope, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Everywhere I 
go. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine.